Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 3, lesson 3, multiplication as comparison. Page number is 147. Uh, guys, in this lesson, uh, we will do simple multiplication, but how you will know that the problem is related to multiplication as comparison? See this statement. Sometimes a problem uses a phrase like times as many, the first one, times as many, times more, and times as much. These kinds of problems are comparison problems. Look at this first example here. Mary attended camp for seven days this summer. Now Mary attended for seven days. And Taylor attended three times as many days as Mary. So Mary attended for seven days and Taylor did three times of Mary. So three times of Mary is three times seven. That is 21. Here it is. The first group, it was seven. Mary and Taylor, three times of Mary. So you will draw three uh, lines for Mary with seven uh, dots each and just one line for Mary and three for Taylor. So three groups of seven and one group of seven. Then seven plus seven plus seven, 21. Here it is, seven plus seven plus seven, 21. Or three times seven equals 21. So Taylor attended for 21 days. Next page, see this example. Uh, Suki used 15 beads to make a bracelet. This is three times as many beads as what Cassidy used. Now, this is three times of Cassidy used. So how much Cassidy used? They're not saying that Cassidy used three times of Suki. No, so we will have to multiply 15 by three. They are saying what Cassidy used, this is three times of that. So. 3 times what will give you 15? Here it is. 3 times what will give you 15? So 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So Cassidy used 15. Guys, you have to understand the problems, okay, in this one. Okay, like here you see, they ask, they in the first one, they give you the number and they said the second guy, he used uh, three, seven times or three times of that. This time they didn't give you the number. They told you the answer. Okay, so you have to take care of the questions. Okay, now use multiplication or division to complete the equation for this one is very simple. They gave you three uh, counters here. So three times as much. So three and three. So three times three, nine. On next page, see this one three times as many of this one, so three times one, five times more, one, two, three, four, five, and five, five times five, one, two, three, and four times, so four times three, twelve, here, ten times as much, ten times what equals forty, four, so you will draw four, two times what is equal to six, three, so you will draw three here, 2 times what is equal to 14? 7. So you will draw 7 counters here. Okay. Uh, here, guys, 2 times what is equal to 8? So in this bar, at the top one, you will write the total always. Okay. The top one, total. Here, the total. Okay. And this number showing you how many boxes? 2. So 2 boxes. 2. 2 boxes. 4. Four boxes and this number is showing you what is inside the box four four three here three three six here six 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 got it from here you're getting it four times so four boxes six in each box and then you'll multiply four times six twenty four two times so two boxes three in each box three times two six twice it means two boxes 4 in each box, 4 times 2, 8. Similarly, this one, 3 times, it means 3 boxes, and in each box, 6. 
So 3 times 6, 18. Here it is. 5 times, it means 5 boxes. And in each box, 1 star. 5 times 1, 5. Let's move to the next page. This example is very simple. There are three times as many blue balloons as green balloons. There are four green balloons, so three times four, that is 12. There it is. Uh, Nan needs four times as much flour as sugar. She needs four cups of sugar. How much flour does she need? So four times four, 16. 16 cups, here it is. Okay, circle the example that does not belong. Explain your reasoning. 4, 4, 4, 4 times 3, 12. 4, 4, 4, 12. 4, 4, 4, 4 times 3, 12. Here, 12 minus 4, that is 8. So all these three, they are equal to 12, and this one is equal to 8. So this one is different. Here is the reasoning. You can write it, guys. How can a bar diagram help me? Plan and solve a problem. Explain. It helps me visualize the information from the problem and organize it to solve it. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand the lesson, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Sal. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.